What's good, YouTube? It's Sos. Morning, you say. You already know the vibes, you feel me? We back with another reaction. My son, Haas, is speaking on Trump linking up with Fabio Foreign, you feel me? Um, drill rapper from Brooklyn. I think he's from Brooklyn, you know what I'm saying? And um, I, I didn't even know that he was a Trump supporter, you feel me? But... You know, you learn something, learn something new every day, right? So, boom, let's just get right into this video. Oh, before I press play, though, subscribe to my channel. You heard, put your chest in it. You know what I'm saying? Smash that like button, turn on your post notifications so y'all can get notified every time I drop a video. So, let's see what's, what he talking about right now. Shall we begin? Shall we begin? Fabio Foreman says he's linking up with Donald Trump. In the next couple of days. And he wants to know. What should he ask him? Wow. Out of all people. Right. Out of all people, and let me say this, let me say this, let me say this. There was a time that I wish, to, like, like this time right here, there was a time that we would wish that a president would come to the ghetto, the heart of the hood, and ask the people of poverty and pain, what can I do for you? As a people, like this situation is dope, but not dope at the same time. But Fabio Foreman, I do respect the fact that you asked us. That's dope. What should you ask him? Why couldn't Tupac be around right now? And this is no shade that you, Fabio Foreman. I just know that you don't have the mindset of a revolutionary. You have a mindset of a gangbanger. And it puzzles me that a presidential candidate, a former president, will come and ask a gangbanger who should be on the FBI watch list, what do we want as a people? Shall we begin? Shall we begin? First and foremost, one question I would ask him, right? Donald Trump, if you can't protect yourself, if you can't trust your security, and you can't defend yourself against the deep state, how are you going to protect us as a people? Inquiring minds want to know, how are we supposed to trust you with our lives in your hands when you can't protect yourself? Are you not entertained? That's one question. Second question that we need to know is we see, right? Some of us see with the intellectual mind that is something going on with this earth. We see that something is going on with the earth. We know, we know that there is a, 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 a doomsday vault in North um, I mean, maybe Fabio, he probably, uh, wait, where's my, hold on, let me get my, let me get my charger, hold on. I feel like, I feel like, well, Fabio, he probably do have a few questions in the back of his mind, you know what I'm saying, but he want to ask the right question. And sometimes when you feel like you don't know, you know what I'm saying? Like, or you feel like, you know, you you want to just make sure you standing on business or, you know what I mean, on what, or if, if especially if you are somebody that's supposed to be like um, a spokesman of the people, you feel me? I wouldn't say Fabio would be a spokesman of the people, but, you know, like Trump needs some more rappers and, you know, y'all seen him with, um, Chef G and all that, whatever. So now he want to get with Fabio. He doing anything to win, honestly. Like, 
Um, he needs black people's votes. So this is he goes to the rappers because he he feel like he feel like oh let me go to the the hoodest rapper that's that's known and popular and then that would get black people to vote for me. And actually, it's pretty sad that he probably even think like that because like you think like oh I'm gonna just I'm gonna just link with some rappers and then black people gonna vote for me like this just doesn't make no sense honestly I. It's real insulting for real, for real. But um, yeah, Fabio, he probably just really don't know what to ask. Uh, he probably got questions that he want to ask. He just want to make sure he asks the right questions. Maybe you know what I'm saying? He is not into politics. He's a rapper. You feel me? So you know, I mean, it, I mean, I'm not mad at him for 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 posting that. Like, what what questions do y'all want me to ask him? Feel me? Y'all let me know in the comments what questions would y'all ask Donald Trump. You know what I'm saying? If you a Donald Trump supporter. Y'all can say that in the comments. If you're not, y'all can let y'all can say that too. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, way with all of the seeds is in that vault to every fruit and every vegetable. My question is, when are you going to tell us what's going on so we can prepare ourselves for what's to come? And see, I understand that what God says, no man knows the hour, but that means we don't know the time of our own deaths. But what man does know is that on a Richter scale, they know that the big earthquake is coming. What man does know is that they could protect, they could predict for the next few weeks exactly what the temperature is going to be on that day and that night. Do you believe in magic? So now, with that being said, it takes me back to the days of Noah, right? And I told y'all before, I always tell y'all this. In the days of Noah, the technology that we have today, we had then. That's why we couldn't believe if people don't believe in Noah's ark. That he spent all... Am I just fried or I feel like uh, he just jumping all over the place right now? Or is it just me? Y'all let me know in the comments. Because now I'm like, or is it going over my head right now? Like, <laughs> is it because I've been smoking? Like... <laughs> But I just feel like, wait, what are we talking about right now? Like, you know what I'm saying? Y'all let me know in the comments. Or maybe it's going to make sense. Let's, 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 let's finish playing the video. All of those years warning the people that 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 a catastrophe was... And by the way, I get what he's saying, but I'm just trying to figure out how, like, how do we get from this, that, to the whole Fabio situation? You know what I'm saying? Because I'm just going by the title and was being displayed over here. You feel me? That that's the only you know what I mean? But I, I definitely get what he's like what he's saying. You feel me? I'm just trying to figure out. So maybe he gonna maybe he's gonna make it sense. Coming the floods was coming. Well now we living in the times and we living in the days where we're watching floods all over the place. Oh yeah they must be oh she's over there this video all she over, the place over there now. Video from Oxford, Connecticut shows the moment this person became stuck. Oh Holy f the person's in the water. <laughs> Holding onto a car. Yo, the this this yo was this from the other day when it was raining? Cause there's definitely floods all over. Like I had to move my car at one point. Pulling in fast water after leaving their vehicle. Hey, look at the water. Flood. Oh, I think the Jesus. Trump fire truck is stuck. I, a firefighter tried to bro how's the fire truck stuck like the fire truck is supposed to be going to save other people that stuck and they stuck uh, yo they need to start playing with that weather machine oh, for real but it's unclear if they were successful just down the road firefighters rescued 19 people and a dog from this inn and a nearby residence even as a large propane tank dislodged from the building and started leaking. Wow, there goes somebody's car. Damn. No one was injured, officials said. But elsewhere in the small residential oh, town, rescuers found two people dead after heavy weekend rain led to the splash flooding. It's a wall. The that water's crazy. up to a wall right there, the top of the wall. Yo, bro, what? It breached right here. <laughs> yeah, look at it. Wow. As of Monday, That's at least 100 people had been evacuated from the area by urban search and rescue crews, according to Connecticut Governor Ned Lamont. We're going. We're going outside. No idea. Connecticut? Uh, you put my phone away for a second.
We are living in the days and we are living in the times where we are watching the earth That's crack crazy. open. We are living in the days and we are living in the times where we are seeing the desert, which is one of the signs of the times, turn green and rivers is flowing through the deserts of Saudi Arabia, Mecca. Do you believe in magic? Do you believe in God? Do you believe in the afterlife? Magic? What you say? I need to know magic. from Donald Trump. When is he going to let the trumpet be blown? Donald Trump, the trumpet is blown. Signs of the time, the Bible, the Quran. He is the trumpet. The trumpet is blown. When is he going to let us know what's to come? Or will he let us blindly just keep on working for these corporations until the catastrophe hit and we caught up in the rapture? Damn. Yo, bro, I would be so mad, like, trying to get to the crib, and then this, just, and just, imagine just driving, and then this just sinks in like that. That's crazy, bro. Are we going to wake up in the afterlife realizing that we had time to prepare and save our children and these people remain silent to the cal the, ca the catastrophes that they know that's coming? I mean, the movies, they've been telling you the day after tomorrow. Yep. 2012. I mean, in a bunch of yeah. other movies. H have y'all not been paying attention to what's going on? Donald Trump, we need to know. Because it's not fair. Man, he's not telling us, especially black people. Come on. <laughs> I don't know why he's he talking about some Donald Trump. We need to know, bro. He's not going to. He's Yo, if anything, he's going to save himself and his family. <laughs> like, bro, they are all all the politicians and the, the higher ups and all that. They probably already have a bunker somewhere. Uh, they probably already have a city in what on uh what they got Mars already. You know what I'm saying? I mean, who knows? Probably people having a whole um community up there already, <laughs> preparing for when Earth just just you know whatever the end of times. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, yeah. Donald Trump is not is not helping us. For us to work until we die. And I mean that literally. We working until a tsunami comes and wash half the town away. We working until the floods come and wash half the towns away. At least give us a heads up to what places to relocate to before it's too late. We already know, according Listen, to the tablets. The only heads up we're going to get and like. I'm just being honest. The only heads up we, we're going to get is from The Simpsons, bro. We just got to keep watching. You know what I'm saying? Or even watch all the old Simpson, uh, The Simpsons episodes. Because <laughs> they let, they tell everybody what's, what's going to happen. You know what I'm saying? They predict everything. So we literally have to watch a cartoon to really to be, be prepared for what's coming next. It's crazy. Or rather, according to the um, Georgia Guidestones, that the population is going to be reduced down to 10%. Right? Y'all know something is coming. When are y'all going to let us know? That's what I want to know from Donald Trump. Because the reality of it is, when it comes to us as a people, the only thing that's going to save us is our currency. And see, by the time we catch up to the currency, it's going to collapse. 
then our money won't mean nothing. So they'll reduce us back to nothing unless you have something worth generating a new currency, which is going to be digital. And I'll save the rest of this video for my live. It is what it is. Shout out to Fabio Foreign for asking us the question mm -hmm. of what should we ask or what should he ask Donald Trump? And if you're watching this video and you got an intellectual mind, if you have an intellectual mind, write in this comment section what I was about to say that. Matter of fact, I said that already. All right. Write in the comment section what you would ask Donald Trump. <laughs> In my comment section, you heard. Should we be asking yeah. Donald Trump? What could he give us if he get back in the office? Y'all let me know. Y'all let me know what y'all asking. Nah, let me know. Hit that like button. Hit that share button. Hit that. It's like, nah, shout out to Hassan Campbell. You already know the vibe. You feel me now? Nah, I appreciate y'all watching this video. Before I head out, before I head out, though, subscribe to my channel. You heard? Put your chest in it. And I'm saying smash that like button. Turn on your post notifications. And I'll see you on the conversation. Let's get it.